Hi, and welcome to how to auto provision VTEC phone video tutorial. In this video, we will use VTEC VSP735 to demonstrate the auto provisioning. However, the same procedure can be used for other VTEC phones as it is very similar. Easiest way to auto provision your phone is through the phone web interface. To access the phone web interface, you will need your phone IP address. Your phone IP address can be found inside the phone main menu. Simply open status and then network status menu. And under IP field, you will see your phone IP address. Enter the address in your browser and use your login credentials. If you haven't changed default VTEC login credentials, enter admin for both username and password. Once logged in, first thing you need to do is to reset your phone to factory settings. Unless your phone is brand new and is currently set to factory settings, then you don't have to do this step. Otherwise, select the servicing tab and navigate to provisioning menu. Scroll down to the bottom and click the reset button and then select OK to confirm the action. It will take a minute for your phone to reset and reboot. When done, you will need to check your firmware. It is important that your phone is loaded with appropriate firmware version. Different models may require different firmware versions. You can look up which version is supported for your device at wiki.bicomsystems.com slash UADs. To check which version of the firmware you have currently installed, navigate the status tab. Your firmware version will be displayed under general section. If you have trouble installing the firmware, please contact Bicom support team. Next, you will have to adjust UAD settings, create the extension and register your phone. Inside the tenant settings, under auto provisioning section, enter username and password for provisioning server. Remember this as you will need it later in this tutorial. Once done, click save to apply the settings. Next, select the desired tenant and under Tenant Settings menu, navigate to UAD. Find your device and open the Device Edit options. Make sure the General Section status is set to Active and that under Auto Provisioning section, Auto Provisioning and DHCP is set to Yes. Once done, click Save to apply the settings. Next, under Extension menu, click on Add Extension. Select your device from UAD list and under location set remote. Click next step button, specify the extension name and email. Select the department and under Mac enter the Mac address of the phone. You can find a Mac address on the back of your phone and also inside the phone web interface under general section inside the status tab. Once you have entered the MAC address. Click Save to apply the settings. This completes all the settings you need to do inside of PBXware. Next, you will need to register your VTEC phone by setting up the provisioning server. Go back to your phone web interface. Once inside, under Servicing tab, navigate to Provisioning menu. Under Server URL, enter the full URL of your server followed by slash PROV. Under server authentication name and password, enter your provisioning server username and password. Once done, scroll to the bottom and click the save button to save the changes that you made. Next, navigate to reboot menu and click on the reboot button. If you have done everything correctly, once your phone has finished rebooting, you should have successfully registered your phone to PBXware. Thank you for watching this video, and if you need more help, be sure to visit Pycom Systems Wikimedia page.